All right, folks, gather around. Can AI these smart computer brains actually replace us, replace job, maybe even yours? A little scary, a little exciting, so I thought, why just wonder? Let's put it to the test. One full day. I'd hand over the keys to my workshop. Well, my digital workshop, anyway. AI tools would run the show. All my tasks. Could they do it? Could they hack it? Or would it all go up in smoke? This isn't just about finding out if a robot can file my TPS reports. This is bigger. What are their real limits? What are their true strengths? And where do we the humans fit in? Let the great AI job swap begin. First things first, you need a team, even if that team is all digital. I assembled my AI team, ready to tackle a day's work, leading the charge, chat GPT-4. The brain, the communicator, the decider. Then Bardeen for automating some tasks. Monica, my AI assistant for research. Notion AI helped organize thoughts. And Crisp AI, that was for clear sound. The goal was to simulate my workflow as closely as possible using only AI. The machines were in control, the big rule, the golden rule, no human input. I'd only step in if the whole system was about to crash and burn. Think of me as the emergency stop button. Setting this up was an adventure. Teaching the AI my preferences. It's like training a new apprentice. The AI was ready. Communication, it's key, right? So, first up, emails and messages. I let chat GPT-4 loose on my inbox. Its mission respond like Adam, keep the tone right, friendly, direct, maybe a bit enthusiastic. The AI scanned incoming mail, it drafted replies. Pretty smart stuff. It even tried to inject some humor. Sometimes it landed, sometimes, well, it was like a joke told by a robot. Still, for basic replies, it was fast. Got it, thanks. We'll look into it. Those came out smooth as silk, efficiency, check, personality, jury's out. Then came meetings. Could AI handle the back and forth? I used Firefly's AI for this. It joined my virtual meetings, listened in, transcribed everything. Perfect notes every single time, but it missed nuance sometimes. Roboboss AI making the big and small calls. Next up decision making. This is where it gets really interesting. I fed chat GPT-4 some project scenarios. Real problems that needed solutions. Project A is behind schedule. What now? We have two design options. Pick one. These weren't simple yes or no questions. They needed some thought. The AI crunched the data. Fast. It weighed pros and cons. Logically, it presented its decisions clearly. Option B is 15% more cost effective. Prioritize task X to meet the deadline. Impressive, right? No hemming or hawing, just pure cold hard logic. But here's the rub, folks. Logic isn't everything. Sometimes a decision needs a gut feeling, that human intuition, my hand. The AI marathon can bites conquer a full workday? So could the AI go the distance? Could it handle a full 8-hour grind for routine tasks? It was a champ. Organizing files done in a flash, summarizing long documents, easy peasy. Scheduling meetings based on availability, like a hot knife through butter. These are the things AI excels at. It never got tired, never got bored, never asked for a coffee break. The consistency was remarkable. No typos from fatigue, no forgotten steps. If your job is mostly predictable, repetitive tasks, then yes. AI can chew through that workload, and probably do it faster than us. But then came the curveballs. Where's the human spark? AI's Achilles heel in action. Let's talk about that human touch, that special something we bring. Throughout the day, this became clearer. AI is a tool, a powerful one, but it lacks empathy, it lacks soul. Imagine a customer complaint. AI can draft a polite, logical reply. But can it truly understand frustration? Can it offer genuine reassurance? That feeling of being heard, truly heard, that's a human-to-human -human thing. The AI could follow the script. We apologize for the inconvenience. But it couldn't go off script in a way that felt authentic. It was missing that emotional connection. Consider brainstorming a wild new idea. AI struggled with ambiguity too. The verdict partner not pretender AI in our toolbox. So after a full day of AI rule, what's the big takeaway folks? Can AI replace my job? Holy? The answer for now is a clear no. It can handle parts, important parts. It can be an amazing assistant, a super efficient helper, a data cruncher, but it can't be me or you. AI is a powerful collaborator. Think of it as the ultimate power tool. It can lift the heavy mental loads, automate the tedious repetitive stuff, freeing us up for the human stuff, the creative thinking, the empathy, the complex problem solving that needs more than just logic and algorithms. AI only takes care of the boring parts. The future isn't humans versus AI, it's humans AI, that's the key. Would you trust AI to do your job for a day? Let me know in the comments. And if you found this helpful, smash that like button and subscribe. More wild AI experiments are coming soon on Efficiently AI.